So I wanted to bring to your attention that Inkscape 1.3 just released. And as you can see here, I am running Inkscape 1.3. The reason I want to bring this to your attention is for Inkstitch, version 1.3 of Inkscape is awesome. And I'll show you why. So back in the day, I showed you how to do, how to cut parts, different fill layers off of fill layers. And I use difference and I've got a couple of videos. One of them is difference. It makes all the difference. And then what that does is it's, if you have a whole bunch of fill layers on top of each other and too many of them, you can break needles on your machine. So in the ink stitch, especially you don't want a lot of fill layers or objects on top of each other so we have to cut them out and the way we used to cut them out was a difference and i'll show you just a real quick example of how we would cut out with difference so you have your two objects you want to stitch these two fill objects but now you have two layers you're going to stitch a fill on top of a fill which is okay but you don't want to do three you wouldn't want to do a fill on a fill on a fill so you need to cut these out and the way we would cut these out is you duplicate the one on top. Now there's two layers of green here. And then you're going to also multiple select the layer that you want to cut out. And you're going to go path difference. Now you have a cutout. Just like that. Super simple. However, what happens when you have a lot of layers? So I have this. I'm going to shrink this up a little bit. Let's, uh, let's do something like this. And we're going to... We're going to give each layer a little different color so we can keep them separated. Keep them separated. So we have that one. I'm going to do another one, something like that. We're going to change that to, let's put a yellow. Let's grab it and bring it down here. We're going to click it again. We're going to spin it. Let's spin it this way. So now I've got a whole bunch of layers going on top of a whole bunch of different layers. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to spin it around. Make an X. Let's do another color. Let's make that purple. Now that I've drawn all these shapes out, I want to. Can you imagine doing that many uh, duplicating difference? If you do that many duplicating difference for this top one, you'd have to do one, two, three, four. You'd have to do duplicate four times. You'd have to do difference four times just for this one top layer. However, Inkscape 1.3 has something new called flatten. It's under path, flatten. This will do it for you, one shot, all at once. I'm going to select everything that I've just drawn out. You can do it from there. I don't have to put it in layer. In fact, I'm gonna put it back the way it was. So I'm just gonna select everything that's here, just like that, everything that I've done. Go path, flatten. Boom, just like that, it's all cut out. Everything is beautiful. This is, this is gonna make life in the ink stitch lane so much easier. I'm gonna put everything back on top of everything. You still have to do a break apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab each one of these, I'm gonna put it in that top layer. I'm gonna grab that top layer, I'm gonna do extensions ink stitch. And tools fill, break apart, fill objects, hit apply. Now we are all broke apart. You see how many more paths we have. This one's, if I grab this one, it's broke apart from that. This one is separated. From, no, give me that. Okay, this one's separated from that. That is separated. So we, you still have to do the break apart because once you do the flatten, it's going to cut your colors into pieces and then those pieces need to be their own path. But other than that, you know what? Uh, flatten is the new difference. I don't know if I'll ever use a difference again, honestly. It's that awesome. So I also wanted to show you that you can be selective on the layers that you're flattening. In other words, I'm, I'm gonna draw out, let me draw out, just another box. Let me draw out a circle around it. Give it a color. And I'm going to draw out a star inside of there. Let's give that a color. So if all I want to do is cut out the 
red shape from the blue shape, but I didn't want to touch the green one in way in the back. All I have to do is select the red one and the blue one and go path flatten. Now we didn't touch that one, but we did touch that one. So that's something else to think about. You can be selective on which ones you are cutting out. Handy, handy. Okay, I think that's, yep, that is pre-cut out. And I'll show you one more time. We're going to cut out green. Matter of fact, let's cut the green out from the blue and not touch that red. So that works. That's what we're going to do. We've selected the green and the blue. We're going to go path flatten. So we have not touched the red, but we have cut out the blue, the green from the blue. How amazing is that? That is so cool. So if I wanted to, okay, not cut out. That is cut out. Let's see. Okay. Okay. There we are. Now, if I wanted to cut this green out from the blue and the red, all I have to do is select each one of those. It's going to flatten it as you, as you see it on the screen. That's how it's going to flatten it. I don't have the back, the very farthest back, darker green, whatever that is, selected. So it's not going to flatten it. It's not going to be in the flatten program. Flatten. It's going to be everything but that back piece. And, you know, just like I did the first one, it, I can do, I could do that foreground green and the background green. We could do just those two. That one and that one. Path. Flatten. So the blue is not touched. The red is not touched. But the very background back, back piece is cut out. That is, they couldn't have, Inkscape couldn't have helped Ink Stitch out much more than that. I mean, just, that is awesome. All right, and just one last time, I'm going to select it all, path, flatten. Now everything is cut out. Just like that. Sweet, sweet. Anyway, that's all for this video. Just as always, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.